वेलकम टू बुनियाद पॉडकास्ट बाय डॉक्टर मोनिका नागपाल वी डिड नॉट इनहेरिट दिस वर्ल्ड लाइक दिस देन हाउ कैन वी गिव दिस टू आर नेक्स्ट जनरेशन इन दिस फॉर्म वी नीड टू रिफ्लेक्ट माइंडफुली ऑन आर कोर वैल्यूज एंड मेक कॉन्शियस एफर्ट्स टूवर्ड्स प्रोटेक्टिंग द प्लानिट एंड ऑल्सो अचीव ऑल सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स with bunyad i monica nagpal will bring to fore sustainability champions who are striving to bring back harmony with the nature and also dignity of each life namaskar dosto we are again here on yet another episode of bunyad laying the foundation for sustainable living and today we have as guest with us pallavi sachin welcome pallavi so pallavi is a sustainability advocate of course that is why she is here on this podcast but that is more to it and that is what pallavi is going to share with us so i will request pallavi now to please share your introduction yeah Hi everyone. Uh, thank you Dr. Monica for having me here as a sustainability advocate. Uh, to introduce myself, I do a variety of tasks. So coming from the basics is I am instrumentation engineer 2001 pass out from Mumbai University. I did my PG in uh, operations so I am an MBA with operations certified and then I'm pursuing my doctorate degree. Uh, in sustainability and decarbonization uh, in one of the projects under circular economy and uh, so i work for a mnc uh, that's emerson and uh, i am leading a group of people over there we work for power and water industry i'm also iso certified and i am an auditor for various kinds of iso certifications i am auditor for climate action program and uh, also i am a part of a local ngo here in my uh, native place in faridabad which is eco club faridabad society and i have been to be the general secretary over there so doing lots of variety of things out of passion and yes that's about me so super this is uh, not little but this is so much because uh, when she started out you are just hearing it out that she started off as an engineer uh, which was having no clue that she is going into sustainability but here she is doing her doctoral now in her sustainability field so how this all came about is what we are going to get to know from pallavi that how and when did sustainability come in her life okay um we we all must be having some memories from our childhood so i remember uh, when we used to go to our uh, grandfather's place my grandfather um, used to stay in uh, kanpur uttar pradesh and he was a farmer so whenever we used to be on vacation summer vacations we used to go back to our uh, grandfather's and grandmother's place and we used to see how a farmer grows the crops which we directly bring in from the packets and we eat so uh, that is something that a, as a value was inculcated and my father again was an engineer so we happened to move to mumbai and uh, so we were out of touch of farming and growing plants and all but then my father kept a habit of doing plantation every now and then so we used to go for communal plantations he used to take both me and my brother along and we used to go there and plant some trees and again uh, while coming uh, and going from that place we used to go back and see oh my plant is still there <laughs> and uh, if we are while coming back from school if we have the water bottles we'll just pour in the water that ah oh, my plant has to grow well <laughs> so uh, that was inculcated right from the childhood days and i remember we had many plantations because in mumbai we have small houses so many plantations here and there and that too uh, in some kind of not so fancy flower pots or flower vases but maybe the empty containers yeah that used to come to our house so uh, we saw those things happening right from our childhood and that is how it got inculcated so 
we talk about uh, all the 17 sustainability development goals and now those are segregated into yeah. 17 different parts but yeah. if we see right from our childhood like especially in india i believe we know how to recycle things we yes. know how to reuse things right. and till the, uh, there is an end of life we just don't throw it away correct so and that is something, uh, Dr. Monica, that came in right from the beginning uh, years. Yeah. Like you, you are nurturing like that. And so did I to my children. When I got married, I moved to Delhi. And we hear about Delhi that it is so polluted and it is so breathing is such so, a big problem. And we actually experienced that. But then mm. plantations every year. And I happened to join uh, the Faridabad Society Eco Club. And we spread awareness we do lots of plantations every year we are supposed to be doing in the first week of august because it yeah. is raining here so every now and then it started from my childhood i would rather say and any and every place i could do that i i keep on doing wonderful but again if i come back to that uh that point that every child as you say especially in india we have been exposed to such kind of uh, behavior through our parents, through our grandparents. But not every child takes up sustainability. No, be, because we are uh, 10 years here and there, we have been all been there and we have come through the same phase, like uh, having planted pots instead of pots in whatever was available or using the clothes till it, it just goes out till making yes. a duster or whatever, or even using our cousin's clothes like uh, exchanging clothes here and there. All of that we have experienced. But not everybody has become a sustainability advocate. Yeah. So what was that one inside you that helped you or motivated you to take this line? In spite of becoming an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true. Uh, so uh, those habits I was saying, uh, so those continued with me. And after I believe coming to Delhi, uh, so I was already working in Mumbai, got married, came to Delhi. And then uh, I saw that there needs to be more awareness. So mm -hmm. I was doing something I was carrying my own bottle from a long time. I mean, we started doing BYOB, BYOG now. But then I was doing it right from the beginning. And people used to make fun out of me. Mm -hmm. That all right, she'll carry her own straw. She'll carry her own spoon. I know she must be having her own bottle. And uh, that used to be something fun. But then I started talking about it. Yeah. to my colleagues, to my juniors. And then I saw that when you talk about it and as you walk your talk so mm. there are people we have what it should not be said but yeah we are all participants of whatsapp university absolutely lots of, <laughs> lots of knowledge there daily right, right, right. but so many forwards how many of uh, us would be reading that and actually doing that so i started advocating it mm. and uh, i believe it's almost 18 years that I have been talking about this to everybody and anybody whom I meet. So, wow. so what happened? I saw that if I talk to somebody in a way that see how much I'm saving or rather showing them the calculations or rather showing them that this is the value of one tree because yeah. globally we see that uh, in India, one person has less than eight trees if we account for. So we okay. need to plant more and more. And right started doing it and people started following it so mm -hmm. i thought this is the only way if you keep on pouring thing in the ears of your colleagues of the people you meet so they see value yes so what happens initially maybe i started gifting few people my colleagues of course all engineers and all so it was just about uh, melting down to a few things and then uh, i used to uh, gift them something very small very unique but very sustainable. And it started, I, I yeah. saw that the people were changing. And yeah. that was the point, like almost 18, 19 years. And I started talking about it like anything. So as the general secretary of Eco Club, wherever we go, we are called for sustainable development of the society, sustainable yeah. living. Of how do we develop the community to do that? So there are lots of sessions with kids as well. 
with yeah. college students with school students yeah. yeah so when on that platform i talk and if the people are trying to connect back with you that ma'am i want to understand how you do that yeah and that adds value when i say if i can do it i am a working professional i have a team of engineers who listen to me and we execute power projects right. so so that is a big responsibility so when i say when i can do that i wake up 5 in the morning and go to bed after 11 at night but still if i can do it anybody on this earth can do it absolutely it absolutely it's a matter of having those conscious choices and yeah. when you talk to people yes they they then tend to listen and then they tend to start behaving like that so absolutely that was the change 18 years back and i yeah. thought i need to advocate this issue because it is huge over here absolutely so that consciousness which we are talking about has to develop in each of us uh, and doing our bit uh, even if it's small starts very small it is okay uh, we will reach somewhere so that uh, now that you are we've already mentioned few points regarding how you are on your uh, your eco club and you on your own work is creating an impact but also you are started to do something in your own company also where you were able to go global uh, you were uh, now heading the national level uh, team for all of that is going on in your own company so please uh, tell us how as an individual so what i want to emphasize here is that it is just one single individual with one thought and she was not even uh, kind of a skilled in that field of sustainability she is not taken any education in that but still her company because her, of her own thoughts and because of her advocacy was able to select her to head the team for the sustainable uh, to become it a more green company so to say and uh, she will now share that journey also with us that how one individual in one company can really make that kind of an impact please pallavi yeah yeah so talking about my professional journey into this um I, i talk about my sustainability whatever i am doing i'm sustainable i talk to people that i have not emitted even a single liter past 7 years so nothing has gone out of my house so people are like amazed how, how did you do that and then uh, just for uh, viewers over here that it is very easy to segregate the dry and wet waste mm. first at the source level when the country will do it when the local uh, uh, managements would do it they would do it at some time but when will i do it it is in my hand and i started doing that so that segregation of dry and wet now what to do of wet is wet i do make wet waste compost at home mm. so there are so many ways to do that we can yeah. start from a small composting uh, we call it as a khamba so that's also a terracotta uh, stuff if you have a big space you can do it in drum and you can do it in old bucket and anything and everything is doable if you have that thought so wet waste is gone from all the bucket of uh, the bin that you have at home now there is a dry waste all right now dry waste would be paper plastic yeah. yeah yeah anything like that and then you just segregate it store it compress it store it and then maybe you call raddi wala yeah he will take maximum of your dry stuff and pay you yeah yeah absolutely yeah? yeah so that is one of the best thing that you can do to your waste another that the stuff that he doesn't take it goes to the recycler because yeah. many of the recyclers want single use plastic right, right? so everything that we are littering today has a value and we can make it reach to the right person yeah they want it and we want to throw it so it's like a win win situation for both when when i start talking i started talking about it in my organization people wanted to know how do you do it then there was a instance wherein um, the organization wanted to do something on greening and there were some kinds of interactions and this is my passion so i spoke about it and i spoke about so many solutions which are doable the awareness the company wide activities that they got me on for that assignment and we implemented it so immersion is a big company we have got yeah. 13 big uh, 
uh, offices, you can say some of the manufacturing units, some of the engineering offices in India. So 13 different sites to be implemented. So that was the time when um, our VP had a trust on me that, yes, you have got so much of passion, you'll, you'll be able to do it. And I did that, demonstrated that for a year. We had some uh, local local teams in each and each offices and mm -hmm. I started coordinating we started doing various activities and that was the time when he uh, told me that yes you you lead India on uh, SND for all the greening of our organizations and you have to take this up and yeah so so motivating that you are working as an instrumentation engineer in a power industry, but you don't have to throw your passion away. You yes. are passionate about environment. You can do it and you can do it in your own organization. So yeah. it was like my journey. I love to speak about it because I started on the individual level with uh, Eco Club NGO. I started doing it on the community level. I could go spread awareness on the various sections and then with this opportunity my passion drove me to a site-wide leader like india leader for sustainability and decarbonization of course looking into lots of greening and then you meet so many people who are passionate about what you are doing i yes. want to start it. so lots of um, awareness session through teams across the uh, uh, centers and then there are so many people who are already active in this area and they would want to share their interest then it becomes like it is infectious Absolutely. your passion is infectious and you talk to people and in a crowd of 50 if you have one person following you you are sorted absolutely so, absolutely so I, I i talk about this every time uh, dr monica that if I can infect one person, I think my job is done. My <laughs> passion is done. And that is the way we, we have our force ready. So if yeah. you look back and see when people were making fun of it, now people come back to you and they how do you do composting? Yeah. How do you do this? In any of the events, those are happening in our office. So we plan it that way that um, our HR is very considerate, our admin is very considerate. So they'll come back to you and they'll check. See, mm -hmm. we are going to have this planning. Do you have any inputs? And then I would definitely have something that, all right, if it is a food fest, let's go make a conscious choice and have some kinds of patals and dona so that right. when you dispose it off, of course, it's not possible to clean off everything and anything. Yeah, yeah. So, when we dispose it, at least it will de decompose. Yes. So there are so many things. There are gloves that we can use, which are actually decompostable. So mm -hmm. let's have hygiene mm -hmm. with a small conscious choice of uh, selection of items, which can yeah. be disposable, which can be Absolutely. decompostable. Absolutely. So that way we have stopped wrapping the gifts in those yeah. plastic and shiny wrappers we have stopped doing that even yeah. we have stopped wrapping the gifts because it is not needed you know Correct. that you are giving something to somebody so organization wide we don't gift uh, i mean don't wrap the gifts of course there are so many giftings and the gifts are also consciously sustainable gifts. Yeah, that is what. So we will come to that point when we are talking about the practical tips that you have to give <laughs> yes, <laughs> to the people around us. But I'm definitely. sure this is a great, great and huge impact that you are created uh, across your company. And I'm sure from that company, it is starting to go uh, a ripple effect to the other companies also. And that is how you have done your bit in a very, very big way, Pallavi. I really congratulate you on that. Starting small, but creating a huge impact, that is the potential every individual has. We cannot say that because she had those opportunities, she could do it. We all get that opportunity and we all can do whatever in, is in our capacity. And we all have that potential. I believe that. But now the most important and most interesting part of the podcast is about the practical tips that we share uh, regarding whatever the sustainable development goals that we have. We're talking about so many things today and I'm requesting now Pallavi to share those tips uh, which she shares usually in her meetings and her <laughs> sessions uh, to be shared here and we have the fortune to listen to all of that. Yeah, Pallavi. 
All right. Um, so when we talk about practical tips, like uh, we, we have three sections here, right? So when we talk about my individual contribution, your individual contribution, anybody's. So individually, what I can do is I can carry my own bottle. Hmm. I can carry my own straw. I can carry my own spoon, my own bag. So we have seen people going with mobile. So, so much heavy mobile. Mobile must be 100 grams minimum. Everybody is holding it. But 10 grams bag, we don't want to hold. So, <laughs> so that conscious choice has to come yeah. in. So, yeah. wherever, uh, so those individual tips, if I say, in all my bags, purses, in my car, dicky, everywhere I have cotton bags, mm -hmm. jute bags, paper bags. Those are lying everywhere. If... Mm -hmm. I don't have a bag, I don't buy. That is my individual choice and that is my individual pledge. That is what I do. So if I'm wearing suit, I'll have dupatta. If something it has to be brought, so I'll take it in my dupatta and I'll come. But we actually, when we sit and we think about, there is nothing so urgent that we need to take now, right now in that plastic bag. So right. single use plastic avoidance in any and every case. Mm -hmm. Second is drinking water whenever we go out. I fill my car, all the doors with the bottles, fridge, steel bottles, easily cleanable. So small, small choices. I have my own straw. Even Nariel Pani, I don't drink with the straw with that person gives. I, I disallow that. I, am, I don't want a straw anymore. So very, very small things. I read somewhere which impacted my mind almost eight, nine years back regarding the straw. There is a small girl holding a, a placard which says, all 10,000 people in the party thought someone would bring a straw yeah. for themselves. So 40,000 straw. So right. I mean, that is the impact of Absolutely. our negligence. Yeah, all small, small things that only we can right. see. So those are some tips, practical tips that we can do. Of course, the conscious choices, I would rather say. Yeah. So next is again, when you see as simple as a toilet cleaner, of course, I'm an engineer, but I talk about it because when you go by, when you go in a mart and you see uh, one toilet cleaner has nothing to say, the other says, no HCL or less HCL. Yeah. yeah. So that means the one who which is not displaying anything has got a good content of HCL, Correct. which Correct. spoils our soil, which right. goes down right. into the, the water. earth yeah, and water is, water. Yeah. Yeah. very true. So that is something that needs to be done. Every household has got an RO system. So mm -hmm. water, we all talk about water, but then how to save water? I have that in my hand. I can connect that RO drain pipe to one of the storage. And then I can use that. I can ask my mate to compulsory use that for cleaning the house or watering the plants or whatever. As simple as AC uh, duct and the yes. AC vent we have. So that is the best water. Not even the bisclery water is as purest as the condition, uh, air conditioned water. So if you store that, uh, you can plant the trees and you see the difference. That is the purest form of water and your plants will say happily, thank you so much for giving us that water. So yeah. these are few, few simple steps uh, that we talk about. We also talk about microplastics yeah. because... What we are eating is microplastic eventually. Right. It so is going think, deep inside. Yeah. It is going deep inside. So we even we should not consume it, neither should we give it to the outside world. All the we we hear, hear about the cows and uh, yeah, yeah. Like, all the flora and fauna inside the water is uh, getting all that plastics. All that plastic. So we yeah. need to get rid of plastic in one or the other way. That is a conscious choice. When we talk about community, if we can, we should go out and plant a tree. If I am not able to do it, please allow others to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please at least support someone who's doing yeah. it. Correct. So if I try to plant a tree, please do not do not come out to fight saying, no, no, uh, there will be I some garbage you. on my car. Yeah. Because eventually there may be some birds sitting on the plants. Eventually there may be uh, something falling down from the trees when they grow up. And my 
car will get spoiled but oh you God. see the irony is one tree if you see somewhere outside there are five to six cars all yes. of them want to uh, be below the park tree yeah, yeah. So, they want to park it below so that they, they want can to be park it there yeah. yeah so so please allow people if i don't have a particular time i don't have passion for this project for this task which is necessary for everybody so at least don't support but do not stand against the people who yeah. want to do something for the planet yes. that is just a urge on the community level if you yeah. can there are so much of ekadashi fast there is so much of the langars and so much of the uh, so people want to feed poor Correct. which is very yeah. good but not the causes one of the 17 sdgs but when you feed poor please make sure that those are not thermocol plates there's a yeah. again going into your yes uh, absolutely ecosystem. the disposables that are used there are not biodegradable so not biodegradable no. at all so so that needs to be taken care when we want to spend something on poor please add on this chota sa money amount to to buy some of the decomposable uh, uh, yes, materials that we are using yeah. disposables that we are buying again coming to the organization level there are so many compliance from the industry which are already there but then organization because we have money sometimes we end up having lots of bisleri bottles and and this is for all because yeah. it is a ease so there are in the boardrooms and all there are so many small small 200 ml of bottles you go anywhere for any Absolutely. meeting there are i have seen that pallavi we are talking about sustainability i had gone to a session on sustainability and they had bottles and i spoke up there itself also that why are we talking about sustainability when we have these bottles here what's when the we use we have these bottles yeah so when we when we talk about my organization in the past 2 3 years we have come through a long journey of course with the support of so many people across the boards so uh, we distributed uh, steel bottles across all entities mm. uh, with a message of go green and emerson branding on it and to all employees on earth day okay so we wow. just kicked that off that all right on the earth day let's take a passion so all the pet bottles were given away so now our all our employees have their steel bottles and mm -hmm. there are the um, um, machines in there wherein you can go and fill your bottles already right, that yes. is done. yeah but still uh, there used to be uh, uh, bottles packaged drinking water bottles for guests and all so we got rid of that as well with the clean yeah. nice beautiful glass bottles yeah. and yeah. the glasses in all the board rooms and all the training rooms and all the meeting rooms so that even we don't want to use uh, for and the and that visit. also reduces the water because you a person would need only a sip of water and we serve okay. that full glass of water which is just wasted after that one sip So, Very if true. you are giving a bottle along with the glass, the person can serve themselves as to how much water they want, they and want. we are saving water on that also. So, even very that. True. very true so that is a very very good example because small bottles are kept so that water is saved yeah. but if you want to save plastic we get 1 liter bottles but 1 liter bottle maybe 50% of the water stays back which is a big big waste which we right. don't want to do because water is the highly scarcity we yes, all are yes. thinking yes so so we got rid of both of those now again uh, the transparent glass bottles from the hygiene way they are all mm -hmm. covered and everything done again the solution to one major problem because sometimes we have high end gas mm -hmm. for whom we have to open the seal right away over there or yes, so yes. we can go for the glass bottle there are packaged drinking water yeah yeah we are getting it now bottle. yeah but those are very costly so right. anything which adds to cost will of course reduce the usage absolutely yeah so if the bottle comes in for 300 bucks one bottle then of course nobody is going to misuse that so we'll handle with care so again if you put on more a little more cost so you'll take care of it so that way we have like in india my organization i'm so proudly talking about it has come to a zero literally zero packaged pet drinking water so those Amazing. are the 20 liters bottle which come in yeah. uh, which mm -hmm. are there on the uh, dispensers and then we have those bottles filled 
correct and very correct. hygienically and good and very nicely handled so it's like great that you can see it getting implemented and you can see yeah, that yes, for us india is doing great we have One. stopped uh, uh, gift wrapping so we are coming down to a list of sustainable gifting items so mm. consciously we have that choice for not just for the sustainability event for any and every event mm. we have some of the guidelines done even mm. if we talk about we had some guest in the past and we were talking about having biryani so why biryani <laughs> so i explained them that because the biryani will come in the ardan pot and that's what we are talking to our admin that we do not want to waste plastic packaging even in food Yes. so we don't want anybody to pour in the hot food in the plastic uh, containers which creates to us which will again get some microplastic Micro so plastic. from the earth and, and again those are earthen pots they can go back to the soil and it yeah. will compost eventually so there are so limited choices with our admin whenever people are here when they have <laughs> to order something there are limited choices we understand but that's fine that is our conscious yeah. choice that we are making Correct. and people are actually happy about it correct they and slowly then we start to make these choices like your company has made if the companies start to really make choices especially for the gifting and all also uh, which which will really rampantly uh, doing so many gifting was started when we started to have corporate gifting the rampant how it became that anything and anything the gift was made Uh, all mm. the plastic was used everything was used and after one day it had just gone to the dump and True. it remained in the landfill forever and forever so now if you because the sustainable gifting was little uh, costly as you said yes, so, but yes. as you start to demand more obviously yes. more people will get into it and the cost will yeah. obviously come down yes yes no so if that is how we can start that we have to take that conscious choice which you are saying absolutely wonderful wow yeah, yeah. so these are very very nice and uh, very very practical tips which pallavi has shared with us in all and she has categorized very beautifully into individual community and your organization levels and you can really really go back and listen to this podcast over and over again so that you take all the tips back with you but still uh, lastly i will ask uh, pallavi to please share a message for all of you one last uh, wisdom or insight that you want to share with us all right so um, here uh, before the concluding message or anything i think i as an individual what my parents did to me was they they showed me by example what things can be done and i i kept it in my practice what i do whenever i do plantations mm. and i use homemade compost i do those giftings as well so mm. my i have two sons and my my both my sons are with me when mm. i do put my hand in soil they play around and mm. i feel so happy that i as a young child i i was able to go down and play in soil and dirty mm. myself and come back home of course we used to get some scolding but then <laughs> that was good that's how yeah. we learn that's how we yeah. grew but um, nowadays kids have very little time because of their lots of work and some kind of gadget involvement and everything but whenever i'm out doing some plantations my kids are there with me so we'll mm. have a big tub wherein we'll mix soil with the homemade manure and mm. then we do repotting so if i have to do seed something so one of my sons would do that on mothers day uh, i think 4 years back i was a little unwell and i was lying down and my son went down and he did the plant propagation he decorated it so well on in the new ways and he just gave and he presented me that wow. i was like <laughs> my god i'm feeling so good about it and awesome. my friends were like wow this is kind of hand picked things whatever yeah. you teach them they are doing the same so they they see that there is no problem there's no shy playing in the soil yeah, yeah. Yeah. you can do it on your own i i did so many giftings yeah i have many snake plants so those snake plants propagate at a particular time in the year i do those propagations and i believe i purchased two or three good quality snake plants initially and then i just propagated 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 and i used to do it uh, give them as a gifting during kanjaks the navratris both the times yeah yeah, yeah. to 
all the young uh, girls i i would invite i took them to my office i gave to my colleagues daughters mm -hmm. and then they just click the photos they'll send it to me ki aunty ko dikhana ki see see <laughs> it has got a new leaf see i i could also propagate it is giving a yeah. new uh, bud over there and i think from those two three snake plants initially i brought i did almost 200 snake plants wow super and super. and i gave away almost matlab i will be having almost 20 30 still with me but then it's year on year on year on that whomsoever i'm giving i'm gifting my planted planters and i tell them that these are my babies you need to take care so <laughs> because i have propagated yeah. i have put potted yeah. them so well with my homemade vegetarian manure you yeah. will not get this anywhere outside yes. whatever amount yes. of money you spend so these are my babies you need to take it so mm -hmm. that attachment i have with this kind of task and i cannot shut my mouth <laughs> if i see something wrong is going on so i have to you know i mean people get offended that uh, what the hell do you have problem with but then yeah. if something is wrong from the environment what are we giving to our next generation correct we, correct uh, as a message i would say uh, dr monica is uh, sustainability is not about refraining yourself from keeping away from the parties from the big mm -hmm. deals what do you want to do of course go ahead go ahead spend go ahead party just have that conscious choice yeah. that yeah. whatever materials you are using is not harming the environment right whatever you have already taken should go back to soil in the decompostable way so take right. that extra effort a little conscious choice in whatever you choose so if you want to go ahead and buy a t-shirt i would rather say take one nike t-shirt instead of buy to get to so Absolutely. instead of four <laughs> one and that would be like something conscious choice of course you wanted to spend right. you did spend right. and right. you launched your nike t-shirt or whatever you want to but then don't spend unnecessary so those yeah. conscious choices rather Absolutely. and Absolutely. talk about it to everybody you can so that yeah. be infectious and spread this sustainability and uh, advocacy about people don't know what am i supposed to do yes so that is what yeah, yeah it's so, just just speaking about is also good enough that is what we can yes. say it is good enough yes. just speak out yes. speak out speak just out speak out, out. Yeah, yeah 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 that's right thank you so much it was really wonderful pallavi and we can just go on and on <laughs> <laughs> in what we are doing but yeah thank you so much uh, for your time on this platform and i'm sure your message will really be infectious and we will have lot of more blooming plants going here and there and people will really understand the real sustainability message that we are wanting to share with them thank you so much namaste thank you namaste